There we go. Now there's audio. Alright, it's been a fucking while since we played this. Hearth and Home wasn't actually out yet. How many fixes ago was that? Yeah, so I can't even scroll far enough back in this changelog to when I last streamed. Um, I think we just start over. Let's just start over. That's not hair. I see it still looks fucking awful. stream done let it go let's go do this oh, all right oh. i am i am excited to see what they changed Super excited to see what they actually changed. Uh, it still takes forever to load sometimes when you start in a new world, so that's good. They kept that the same, at least. The, excuse me. No one needs to hear that. Come on. Mm. Mm. Oh, got a bright light. Long ago, the All-Father Odin united the worlds. He threw down his foes and cast them into the Tenth World, then split the bows that held their prison to the world tree, and left it to drift unanchored for the place of exile. For centuries, this world slumbered uneasily, but did not die. As glacial ages passed, kingdoms rose and fell out of sight of the gods. When Odin heard his enemies were growing once again in strength, he looked to Midgard and sent his Valkyries to scour the battlefields of the greatest of their warriors. Dead to the world, they would be born again in Valheim. They're not his Valkyries, but okay. They're Freya's. Yeah, right, come on, guys. Come on. They're not Odin's Valkyries. That's not how that works. Excuse me, big bird man. You have a chin. Like a very human looking chin. Like it almost looks like a mask. I'm just saying. Land! What drop at the tree? It just dropped me here. That's fine. I am wet. Well met, giant bird. I am Yugen, sent to guide you in your travels. The Megillus surrounding you are sacrificial stones. They represent the Forsaken. Too much slay. This is where I can find the horseman. Deer. It's a deer. These magical stones are scattered throughout the lands by Odin is signed for pointing toward the ritual grounds of the Forsaken. Inspect it closer, this one will reveal the summoning place of Ifkir, your first prey. He is a mighty beast, so you need to properly arm yourself before even attempting to defeat him. Okay. I I'll go punch tree now.
Good news. I can make stick. Um, tab. I can't quite make a torch yet, or a club. We will punch this beach. This son of a beach. Right here. Ah! You little fuck. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Come on. Come here! Little shit. Fuck you. Going back to punching trees. Yes. As nature intended. We can make a stick using six sticks. Logic. As it's crafted, however, due to your recent departure, you will need you will have to recall the true shape of objects to pick things up and it'll come to you. It yeah, tells me one can fashion a stone axe out of wood and stone. I will find some stones. Found those ones. They're pretty fucking big. No. These kind of stones. Can I double click the pickup like you used to to glitch it? Can make a hammer to build shit. You've crafted a hammer. With this tool, you'll raise mighty halls and towering fortifications. Build a workbench, and you can construct other things. Honestly, I might. I this is kind of a nice spot. I want a place near water to get food. Like there's no berries here. This isn't a terrible spot. Doesn't look like I can spam the pickup button anymore. I need more wood. So we can make an axe. Yeah, fuck you. I got a stick now. I should get Keith to play this again. We had a lot of fun playing this. Alright, I have an axe. Workbench needs ten wood. Got it. What do you got for me? Found a snack. Consume it to improve your health and stamina. You will grow hungry again. Oh, look. It tells me what it's worth now. It didn't used to tell you. That's good. One of those features that should have been there in base game. Tell you how good food is. I wonder if the updates transferred into my old um, playthrough. Like, did I need to start over? Probably not. But... So I'll get the full tutorial again. Oh, hello! Fuck you! Fuck you! No, fuck you! Come back, log! Thank you.
I don't think this is a terrible spot. I'm gonna be honest. Like I know I can't build up there. I think building like a little a little thing right down here. I think this is a good spot. Let's do a little explore. Like if I can find a, a like half built village, that'd be nice. too coastal because I don't want a storm to kick my ass but I don't see a lot of berries over here which is not ideal like, I need a food source that doesn't take stamina to find Found a couple berries, but not a lot. Not a lot of berries. There's some berries. Fuck yeah. Boop. Boop. That looks like half a building. It's not quite what I wanted to find, but... I don't have the stuff to deal with fucking bees. Maybe not that hut. I'm not finding a lot though. Ooh, there we go. That's what we want right there. We'll have to travel for the boss fight, but there's one with already has a fucking roof on it. Some big rocks we can mine, there's plenty of trees. As long as there's no, like, surprise bees in this one. And there's already a chest. Hell yeah. Alright. Quick finish allows you to craft. Yeah, cool. Cool. So. A door would be nice. We need some more wood. We have the starts to a home. We have a workbench. That's about it. Um. I don't want this to fall into the river. It might. We'll see. Oh yeah, it's falling into the river. We can't do that one. I 
Hello. There you go. Come on. Let's see how all these trees fall. They dropped some wood down there, so. Go. Can I get back up? Can we Skyrim this hill? Yes, we can. You're doomed. Sneak up on me, you little shit. was not worth what we did. It's such a bad system. But it's the one I went with. It's got me this far. Pile of stones. Oh, yeah. Let's make this house a home. Fill that fucking gap. This guy. Fuck this. All right, hold up. There we go. So yeah, how do I fill this weird fucking gap? That's gonna bother the shit out of me. That's just too big. Is this my only option? That ain't great. Alright, we're gonna need for a bed. Oh. 
that's how we destroy shit. Jesus, you're big. Uh, chest, you can snore. Yeah. Claim the bed. Doesn't look like these fill up with as much smoke as they used to. So that's fucking good. Shit. It's the wrong button. Nearby fire. Where do I put that? That is the new question. Do I build a little attachment to put our fire on? Okay. I think we're gonna build like an extension specifically for the um the fireplace. I've I never figured out a good a good place to put your fire. You know? On the house. Boy, does it come close. See that deer? I just have no way to kill it. Can't catch a deer. See your creepy little eyes over there. What is this? Big monolith. I don't check out the monolith. Fuck off. Come back. Come back. Coward. What you got? Okay, it cold at night. Got it. Oh, these are just big rocks. Okay. Trying to build a fire, okay? not good about the placement. Does it not want... walls around it. You 
feel me? Um, I just, I just don't want that to fill up the house with smoke. See if I die in the morning, I guess. I guess the fire went out at night. No? Okay, weird. Alright, house didn't fill up with smoke. Completely. Landscaping. And really now we're just back to the uh just back to the grind essentially. Really that we only needed a little bit of leather. Come here, I need to make a bow. Give me your pig flesh. I mean, house ain't on fire, I don't think. So this can't be that bad of a system. It's a much smaller house than what I would prefer. You need eight leather scraps and ten wood. And you want four and ten. So, realistically, yeah, we need twelve leather and a fuck ton of wood. I want an outdoor fire, maybe? We should also build a cooking spit real quick. Okay, we need wood for that, but... Okay! We need 12 leather and lots of wood for our projects. Rocks. Like the chance that I'm gonna catch a fucking deer on foot. Pretty slim. Keep an eye out though. One of these big uh, rune stones. Say anything fun? Oh. Full belly, a full sail, the weight of a spear in your hand, the song of your lips. Let all the mountains crumble. See the boil of salt. One day in the sun, it's a life well lived. Okay, that's the sneak button. We're remembering basic controls. Keeping my eye out for any four.
hear things, but there ain't nothing to fucking see. See shit. Ah, cool mushrooms, though. It's not a, another food source, I guess. This meadow goes on fucking ever. There's like no fucking deer in it. In nothing. Hell yeah, more bears. Good. Why it doesn't always pick them up? Yeah, I'm fucking with bees right now. Jesus. I mean, it's a distance. Give me your leather. But you have none. Only resin. And start cycling this way, I guess. Good back toward spawn and base the long way. Grab these berries first. There's something I really enjoyed. It was even just the farming in this was pretty fucking chill. What is that? Is that a house? Maybe it has loot. Please. I am but a weary traveler. Give me your things. Don't see any bees. A torch, A. Eh? No fucking boars, you dear. This whole trip. I 
I know there's... I don't know. Early versions, there were deer near the shrine. So... Coins, some amber. It's a big fucking tree. Yeah, so maybe if we head towards the shrine, we can come across some deer. I don't think we'll be able to catch any of them. But, it's better than the nun that we're finding. Like, we're just not finding shit. Fog does not help. Aha! Here, piggy, piggy. Fuck. Those almost killed us. Only four. Which was enough to make something. The bow was eight. And the other whatever that I don't remember was four. Shield? Was it a shield? I think so. Wouldn't be a terrible idea. want a shield for I think the bow is a, still a better first choice it'd be easier to get more leather with a bow There's a fucking idea near her shrine anymore.
on the summoning place of one of the forsaken and make the correct offering. And I need to pray. Hunt his kin. I'm fucking trying to. I just can't find any of the fuckers. Ooh, some flint. Grab some of this while we're down here. the world safe. No fucking deer, though. Oh, there's one. I don't think I can sneak up on that deer. Well, shit. Guess I can. Four leather now, still. Or leather scraps. Two deer hide. Do you turn the hide into leather? Is it a separate item? I don't remember. scraps might just be boar. So, let's be prepared for that. That's iron. Oh shit. Charging right up on me. We're gonna make our way home. Nope, nothing in the watchtower. Do not see you. Where are you, my precious dear? I only wish to fashion you into a weapon to slaughter more of you. This is the first house we saw with the beehive. Yep. 
Jeez, August is pretty close. Oh yeah, there's a run button. Forgot about the run button. It's very loud. Look, it's home. All right. So the knife, we will make one of those. That's just useful. Um, so the bow, we need eight. We have two. That we need four. We could make a spear. Spears aren't bad. I think between... I think club and knife. We don't really need the club. But it's not bad. make a cooking station chopping block tanning rack at some point I think we're gonna make a taller chimney. Can we make a taller chimney? some point we will need to expand this house it is just not wide enough but for now it works so Deep well asleep and dream of only darkness. chest soon. We do need to expand this house.
seventh level. We can then go cut down to the freeze. These are the times where it really helps to have a buddy playing this with you. One of us to cut down fucking trees. The other one could be hunting. But whatever. Uh, all my friends work in the morning. Back here, let me stab you. I got stabbed your buddy. See you. Are you sneaking around up there? The fuck. Sneak up on me. I'm the fucking lizard king. This mechanic, boo. I'm dropping this shit. Taking it with me. I have to drop the rocks. Fucking love the building system in this game. Except for this. The fuck happened here? What? Oh, no, I see it. Okay, never mind. Nope. Okay, no. No, I still stand by this. What the fuck happened here? Why, how is this uneven? That doesn't make sense. You're literally the same wall.
Why are you gonna do this to me? Huh? Alright, fine. Is this house not the same fucking width either side? Fuck it, I'll destroy the whole fucking house. I don't want to. Oh yeah, where they put the door isn't even. So. How do you want me to fix this? You don't give me weird half walls. That's not an option. My hammer broke. I can't get you a roof because you broke my hammer. Well, that's annoying. I have to make a whole new fucking hammer. Now you link up. Except for right here, this corner. Okay. Bam. Now you link up. You don't make any sense. Okay. Then
The fuck is wrong with you? So, let's see if we can't figure this out, okay? Didn't want to flatten this out, you know? Somehow. Somehow connect those into one wall. Yeah, I can't catch that. See a boar over there, though. All right, the knife gives us the lunge. Forgot about that. Lunge attack now. Anyway. Continuing on. Cutting down trees for another hour. You. Little fuck. This guy. Keep an eye out for gray lanes again. Alright. Back to Frankenstein in this fucking roof. Thanks for coming in. And the raid. Always appreciate it. Fighting a roof. In case you're wondering what we're doing. We're losing the fight with a roof. I don't know how to meet these two up. I don't think I can. If we scrap this roof. Build up from here, like so. Okay. There's nothing supporting this roof if I do it this way. I think that's the best option. And then this and that. No idea how we patch up these sides. Okay. Bear with me. 
Yeah, no, the, the roofs in this game, man. Er. Okay. So. Scrap these roofs. Especially when you try to just take over a pre-existing building. Anything you change becomes impossible. Yeah, okay. Okay. We might as well do this. No, fuck it. There. Do we at least have most of a roof now? With this weird staggered thing going on. I don't hate it. But I gotta fill up the gaps. Question is, yeah, yeah. When there's like, essentially, this beam here to there was one of those um, A-frame buildings, but there wasn't enough room. Like this was all the floor. So, uh, how do I move the bench? I don't remember how to do this. Nope, that's not the button we want. Does get the exact same job done, but. Alright. Sleep. Yeah, I haven't played this since pretty much it came out, so. I wanted to start over. Now it's had like 10 months worth of updates since I played. I think March will actually be like a year since I've played it. Alright, we need to get wood so we can fix whatever the fuck's going on here now. <laughs> That's exactly how we move benches? Alright. Yeah. I mean. I do love the building in it, but sometimes the roofs are just the fucking worst. And then trees falling on you. Please don't fall on the building. Oh, you bitch. Right on my house. That's fine. We missed. Knife him. Oh, didn't even see that guy I was running into. There we go. Yeah. The only the only part of this game I disliked was that if you don't have at least another person to play with. The next boss sucks. Like, you can't go into the Black Forest on your own. You just can't. Alright, let's at least get a new fancy beam to fix that. A little wonky. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Fun's not the word I would call it. But... Okay, there we go. That needs to go away, I think. I could. 
that that's gonna look so fucking stupid if I do that I think um how do we want to do this here we just give it a full wall and patch in the M somehow There's still gonna be a weird fucking gap in this house, isn't there? Oh, that's not even. That wall's not even lined up. What the fuck? Alright, well, at least we'll line it up with the outside wall. Alright. There's gonna be some gaps. I'm in, but I don't think you can hear me. Okay, you're in Discord. Um, let me find out. No, because you're in the different voice chat than I'm in. Hold up. Hello? Yes. Jesus, you're in the wrong thing again. Hold up. Why... I can't deal with that. Why is the audio coming in through the wrong thing? No, not deafen. Um. Because something always has to go wrong. No, that, that's fucking it, yeah. All right. Don't think this did anything. Just like, why? Why are you? If you want to keep the roof a bit longer, you keep the OG side. 45 east. No. Yeah, maybe. All right, let me see if I can fix this first. I can't hear him now. Which means I think I broke it more. Are you on default again? Hello? Yes. Okay. Why are... <sighs> Just why? You know, why? Uh, should I disconnect the try again? I don't know why Discord is deciding that you need to come in through the wrong speakers. Or how to fix it. Oh god, that's annoying. Yeah, I have no fun clue. Okay. Try leaving and come back. All right. I'm going to try to fix walls. Okay. Hi, can you hear me now? I mean, I can still hear you no matter what. You're just in the wrong, super wrong speakers. You're coming in through my, t my monitor instead of my headphones. No, because something has to go fuck you in this. Terrible. It didn't used to do this. Yeah, that's how I am. Uh, I stopped using my webcam at work because when I put in my webcam, the audio starts to go from the webcam instead of my $100 headphones. So I, I just had to stop bothering with the webcam. Yep. All right. Uh, also, because my... Also, because my managers are being dicks, they, they're like, oh, well, one of them is just kind of shit, doesn't want me to wear my mask at work. I was like, I bought a meta mask, I'm gonna use it. Why are we more. Just why is it coming through there? It doesn't make sense. Uh, 
this guy is saying is Windows set to use your monitor as your default communications device? No. Because it before I go live on stream, I I change everything. everything. Literally, I change it to run through the uh, microphone. Yeah, I, I could be doing that at work, but I'm just too lazy, so I just don't use a webcam at all. It's like, yeah, I don't need to see me. I'm here. Where? System. There we go. Let's go into these. Sound. Yeah. So. Hold up. So mission for Valheim. Uh, get the tree meat there we go. and the black forest ham, correct? There we go. I just disabled the monitor completely. I said fuck it. <laughs> you don't get any monitor now. Um. Mission monitor. for Valheim is construct roofs. All right, so roof a bit longer. Can't see it. Yeah. Okay. So replace all of this stuff with the twenty-six. I think this this is Valheim for me. It's just literally uh, roof roofing. <laughs> no, that's uh, what is it? I was telling uh, Erica. Cause like she's like so far it's like killing monsters in Final Fantasy 14. He's like, what have you been doing? It's like I've been making a lot of clothes. Like I've just been doing like the craftsmanship stuff. He's like, yeah, I've been a, I'm just, I'm just going around being a seamstress, the freaking miner, a uh, blacksmith. Like that, that's just what I'm doing. Real question. Did I just fuck up? You might have. Um, I think I should have pulled it from here, in the middle. We're gonna ignore that some more and continue. Oh, did I tell you about the crazy ass shit Square announced during the Nintendo Direct? No. Okay, so apparently, and no one asked for this, like, we th I thought it would never happen. They're translating Live a Live, which is this really obscure 30 year old RPG that only me and 10 other people have played. <laughs> Legit, it's like so freaking obscure, and S Square was just like, "Oh yeah, we're translating it for the West Switch only." I was like, "What?" Except that they did a nice thing for you. I will accept it, especially since uh, Square broke my heart a few weeks ago because they're also on the. Hmm, what about this NFT bandwagon? I was like, "Oh god, dang it, Square." <laughs> but have you considered? An NFT. I have, and they're garbage. Right, this and things were, things were going so good for Completely you know, cosmetic was, extra beams there. That's just a waste of wood. All right. You know Square was uh, trending in Italy, right? Why? Oh, you didn't hear? I don't pay attention to this shit. No, it, it's something hilarious. I thought you would hear about it. So during a meeting of the Italian parliament, uh, it was like a Zoom meeting. Ooh. And I guess they just like left the credentials open. So someone went inside and when they went to the next panel, they just blasted a porn of the Final Fantasy VII character Tiffa right in the middle of the Italian parliament. That's what government's for. <laughs> yes, so now it's a meme that Tiffa is Italian. And what did they show the scene from like Final Fantasy VII? It was like, what if we just banged in the middle of the Italian Senate? Awful. Okay. But, okay. Yeah. but yeah, sadly, they're, they're them and also Konami was like, oh yeah, we're, we're doing NFTs also. Hey, you gotta capitalize on this shit somehow, man. That's what they do. They could give us a new Castlevania game, you know, just, just saying. Oh, I'm seeing how this works. This works real nice. like one of those uh, little kids when they figure out like the block puzzle you're like oh my god dude, dude i love like just just little building mechanics in in games like i i'm here for them 
It's it's my jam. What you would love, and uh, cause I told you I used to work at Spectrum, right? Yeah. How the fuck do Unfortunately. I fix this shit now? It, it's actually funny. We're leaving Spectrum. <sighs> Apparently, uh, AT and T now has fiber and no data caps for like the same price we're paying for a thousand. So we're just gonna get like a thousand now, which is good. Yeah. Uh. It's funny because my dad's like, oh yeah, it's fiber. It's like, well, all fiber means is that you get the same upload and download speed, and I'm the only one who uploads anything, so I'm the only one who's going to benefit from that, but okay. Uh, so yeah, so when I was working in Spectrum, they were like, if you do stuff to like kill time between calls, it's, you know, whatever. Like, you know, they don't really, at first they didn't really care. So a bunch of people would like bring like these really interesting puzzles, but it was like, like sort of like this, where like puzzles where you had shapes, and you had to like make them into different shapes. Fucking double peaked roofs, man. This is the dream, right here. Yeah, be so it'd be like that. Terrible. Like you'd, ha you'd have like half that roof, and you'd have a set of like blocks, and then you'd have to like figure out how to do it with these like really odd shaped blocks. Like it's really, f you might actually, I might, I might, buy, I might buy that for your next Christmas, because you might actually really dig that, or for your birthday, whichever comes first. Uh, Christmas. You just missed my birthday. I did. Well, I owe you a birthday present then, so I'll just get you that. Yeah, it was literally, uh, like, t it was the day I crashed my car. Remember? Oh, I crashed my car on my fucking birthday. Driving that's home. Why, that's why I totally forgot about it. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that day got overshadowed by totally my fucking car. That, that day got overshadowed by chaos. Yeah, it's the same thing. I still... Fuck, uh, cause work's been like super douchey, and I know Erica's gonna understand, but like, I still need to actually like buy her a Valentine's gift. Like, I know she's gonna understand, but I where's just mine? What the hell? <laughs> well, she's she's like she's my actual girlfriend. Rude. I can send you something. No, I'm gonna complain to her. She'll make you get me one. <laughs> I'm sending her five. I'm sending her like a five pound bag of of sour gummies and. Oh, that's right. Meat. We talked about that. Yeah, and yeah. also uh. She's she really really fucking likes Demon Slayer like a lot like that is her fucking jam. Uh, she loves Demon Slayer. Does this and tree fall on the house? This, the last one so. did. Honestly, from the last time you played Valheim, it seems like they it's less janky than before. I mean yeah like um yeah I, it's been almost almost a year now since I've last played this, so. Like, end of March last year. So. Oh, right. I remember your last house, and it just kept rolling. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, fuck it. And we built it eventually with the hoe. We just level it all out so it doesn't roll like that. But. Like, I remember now. I was like, oh, Christ. Yes, yeah. I forgot. Landscaping is something you do when you have at least another buddy on the server with you. Because you need someone to defend you while you build a road. Yeah, I for really your carts. hope, uh, because I told you, like, after Fear Effect, I'm gonna do, uh, Digimon, uh, Digimon Survive, like, I hope, like, yeah, it's a survival game with Digimon, like, I'm gonna get it, because, you know, Digimon, love Digimon, but I hope it's good, and then we can play together on that, because, Dude, any survival game, I'm here for, but I'm also there, because you get Digimon, and also, uh, unlike, you know how Pokemon, where it's, like, they kind of show it, but they kind of don't like how Pokemon, like, attack and eat other Pokemon. Yeah. Digimon, yeah. it's like, it's like, they, they don't even hide. It's like, oh yeah, this thing eats babies. It's like, oh, Jesus. Okay. Well, it doesn't literally eat babies, but if it had the opportunity, it would. Extreme. Alright, we well, gotta put shit away. Like, my favorite, uh, Digimon is, uh, one of Leomon's evolution. Is Boncho Leomon. And Boncho loosely he translates does. into badass. So his name is Badass Leomon. What a weird fucking cartoon universe. No, Digimon, I think you've seen that meme where it shows like Pokemon evolution. And it's like you have Kitty, then it becomes Cat, then it becomes Bigger Cat. And Digimon is like Kitty can become Cat, can become Black Panther, or the Megazord, or a refrigerator with a gun. Yeah. Dig Digimon is what if we took this animal and, and strapped a gun to it? Uh, Digimon is actually more... I do like the evolutionary path of Digimon because, yeah, you could have one that starts out as a dragon and depending on what you do, it could become li literally like, okay, now you have a mech with a giant gun. Okay, okay, I was not expecting this. Or, nope. you have the lit or you have the literal devil. 
Come here, you little fuck. I'm gonna stab you. Uh, what is it? Uh, like, I have a... Uh, as part of the Digimon videos, I have a Digimon uh, Cyber Sleuth, Detective Story, and... Uh, 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 Cyber Hacker. And they kind of play like, Digimon World Games for DS. The great thing about those is that it tells you what you need to do to make certain Digimon. Know what I mean? Oh, so it just doesn't leave you blind? Yeah, you're not like, kind of like swindling in the dark, grabbing who knows what, you know, then suddenly getting a case because you grabbed something you shouldn't have grabbed. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it, 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 it will specifically tell you, okay, if you raise it by this much attack, it gets to a certain level, you can digivolve into Fuck. this, or you can digivolve into that. <clears throat> so, I really enjoyed that aspect because without it, like, you would just be lost. Be like, how did this evolve into this? Why, why do I suddenly have a poop monster? Yeah, there, there is, there is a poop Digimon. Where'd that bird go? Anyway, I still need to find a fucking boar. Can't get, can't get fucking uh, a bow without murdering boar. Very true. That's you know, just life. Yeah. But there's no fucking boar on this map, apparently. Oh yeah, I still have no idea if I'm gonna be fired or not. Still? Then fuck oh, yeah. your job. Okay, cause uh, I think I told Erica, I didn't, I didn't, not sure if I told you, but uh, one of the dudes there was like, yeah, they're just stressing because it's, uh, what is it? Sales are slowing down, but they pick up, you know, once the spring, summer hits, especially like those summer bills. Like, once those hit, people are like, oh, Jesus, yeah, let me try to go solar so I can, like, cut my... Because, you know, during the summer, those fucking electric bills skyrocket out the ass. And, uh... So, now they're just stressing. He's like, but they're gonna pick up. You know, the dude even said, uh, when he started, like, he started during, like, the peak. And he had two back-to-back -back checks that were worth $7,000 because of just how much appointments he was putting on. Because people were just calling to get appointments. Jesus. Yeah. And, you know... And there's Two a peak more. season, so, so of course, you know, when it's colder, it's the winter, a lot of people aren't really thinking about, you know, going solar, because unless they have, like, an electric heated house, you know, they're using natural gas. So yeah, here heat. here in Maine, like, we're, uh, we're burning wood. If, if you're not doing uh, heating oil, which you probably are, you're burning wood. There's no... Not not in most apartment buildings. Oh, okay. Um, my old one, literally, we had a wood furnace in the uh, in the garage. Uh, uh, one of my houses, one of my houses, the bottom apartment, like it had a fireplace, but like it was walled off. Yeah. So it's uh, it's an insurance thing. That's why, because most people don't want to actually maintain a chimney properly. Oh yeah, because like if the soot gets it, it like burn the whole fucking house down. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it was like completely walled off. So. My sister's house has two fireplaces in it. Does she and clean them? It's only a one-story house. <laughs> Just I hope she cleans them. I don't know if she's ever used them. Oh. Which I think's fucking stupid, because I go over to her house and it's fucking freezing in the winter time. And I'm like, what's wrong? Well, we couldn't, we didn't uh, refill the heating oil because it's so expensive right now. I'm like, okay. You have a fireplace. You have a fire. You have two of them. <laughs> like, the one in the basement will heat the whole house. You don't even need the one in the living room. You're just like a person introducing like cave people to fire. They're like fire, good. Yeah, no, I, I don't. You throw an all-nighter on it right before you go to bed. And you call it good. And, yeah, because I think they would probably be better than, uh, what is it? Like those portable heaters? I've just seen too many terrible stories about those portable, just like... What, you mean like the heaters. kerosene heaters and shit? Like, you know, those plug-in portable heaters. Oh, a space heater, always, yeah. Yeah, that you always hear just, you know, fucking combust. The, um... Those electric fireplaces are pretty, pretty neat, but you're still back to the whole electric bill problem then. Yeah, so I, 
I would get there. There's sometimes where like I talk to someone like, yeah, my I switched to electric. Like you know, his electrical is super high. I was like, mm -hmm. bro, get solar. You know, cut your bill by like thirty yeah. percent. And and it was like, uh, is assuming you can afford it. Well, it 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 depends. For the company I work for, uh, there are some states that are leasing states where like they you pay nothing. You pay literally nothing to get solar. Uh, but basically, the government pays us to for you to pay nothing to get solar. Yeah. And there are some states where they purchase the system, and they don't purchase it outright. Basically, instead of an electrical bill, they get a solar bill at the same rates as their electrical bill. But if they generate enough electricity, uh, you know, from, you know, their house, then that would cut their bill. So, you know, if you're like, it, depending on the pro, like some states have it like unlimited, where it's like, hey, bro, if you fucking produce ten thousand dollars worth of electricity. Me then you're, that's, you know, you're not really going to have any bills. Uh, some states cap it, like, at a certain amount uh, of how much you can sell back to them. But it depends, you know, on a state-by-state, state, you know, municipality by municipality area. Uh, so anyway, uh, I ended up getting, like, 15 fucking sales, like, I guess because, you know, it's the Super Bowl's tomorrow. But they changed one of the little fucking things at work, and they're like, oh, yeah, if you mess this up, you might be instantly terminated. That's and fucking only, stupid. And the thing is, like, the sis, like, yeah, it's super fucking stupid because we've been using something else for six months, and it's like, oh yeah, if you uh. if you fill in this box, you might get fired, even though anyone who's ever been to fucking school, like, it's pretty much drilled into your brain. If you see boxes, they have to be filled in. Do I have enough for the bow yet? Eight scraps. Eight fucking scraps, and we got seven. Fuck yeah, you. So yeah, so that's why I haven't actually bought Erica her gift yet because of just BS from work. And I feel guilty, even though she's gonna tell me it's okay. I don't know, you should feel guilty. Huh? You should feel guilty. I do feel guilty. Good. <laughs> Gotta balance out that positivity. Yeah, you're like if you're like if the divorce happens you're going with her. You're going with mom. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, no cap. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm busy on the weekends, but I'm, I'm going with mom. Right. I can understand that. <laughs> so. Now we can make fire arrows for the bow I don't fucking have. One day, one day. I've, I gotta murder one more fucking boar. That's all we gotta find. Don't know how useful a bow is gonna even be. I can't find shit to hunt with it anyway. That reminds me of uh, a similar situation I was going through when I was playing. Uh, what's that game? The one with the chick with the red hair and the dreads. And like this. Horizon Zero stuff. Dawn. Yes, Horizon Zero Dawn. I don't know if and, I call those you know, dreads, but. There, there, there's something, okay. Her name is Al. Her name is Aloy. Thank you very much. That is a fantastic game. I have it. Uh, it's in my library to play. Fuck, so I think play. I have it installed on PC right now. Uh, but anyway, like, I remember because what happened was I borrowed it from my brother. And, like, I was really, really enjoying it. And then he's like, oh, I kind of actually want to play it. So, like, he took it back before I could, like, get super far in the game. But I liked it so much that I just went on the, the Sony. And I was like, I just, I just bought it for myself to, to have it in my library. And, uh... Come back, dear! Yeah, there, there, there's a... Come you know back. how I like to get, like, more stuff, like, to carry more arrows? It's like, you need to get, like, so many ducks or this many that. Yeah. So there was, like, legit, like, in the parts of the game, I'm just, like, I'm just, like, looking for ducks. Like, what the fuck are you ducks? Get the fuck out here. Yeah. Like, I, I was I was just... I, I was like you. I was just on the hunt for One ducks. hit on this deer, and it's dead. I don't have the stamina! There we go. Alright. Why don't you give me leather scraps? Everything explodes in this game. Fuck off, so, what so what you're saying is this game was made in part by Michael Bay. Yes. Except good. Hey, he makes good stuff. Uh, maybe a, a long quiet. fucking time ago. A quiet place? I didn't watch that. that. It, 
it's it's really good. I, I, I joked about it because what happened was uh in a movie called The Quiet Place, there's only one explosion. It's it's a, it's crucial to the plot, it is. But it's like, you know, Michael Bay was like, I'm giving you money, you gotta give me just one. Just, just come on, keep come on. There's gotta be one. <laughs> He's like, come on, I'm funny, just gotta... <laughs> he was like, he, he was like, there's like, Michael, I don't think there's in the story. I will find it in the story. Also, his Ninja Turtle movies weren't that bad. Fuck off. The Get out. Was, no. The, the second one was decent. No, we, you weren't even supposed to give that one a chance. I did give it a chance. It had the, it had both Sheamus, a professional wrestler, and it had freaking Oliver Quinn. Like I had, like I had to watch it for them. You deliberately disobeyed me. I did. It was a decent note, though. Was it, it better was, than the first one? I'd say it was better than the first one. All right. You know, I kind of like how they kind of more went into the fact that each turtle compensates for the other other's weakness, and that was like a really kind of crucial part of the film. So I think overall is pretty good. And you know, uh, you had Krang there, which you know people have been waiting for Krang for like literally forever. I heard they want to make another Ninja Turtles movie. Uh, hopefully, it's you know good. Nah, it won't be. I mean, the expectations are always because like movies and just stuff isn't made for the average consumer anymore because it's literally just made to appease the Chinese market. Yeah, it's made for teenagers in China. Like, which we still haven't gotten a sequel to the World of Warcraft movie that did amazingly in China. It did, but also the movie was... I thought it was good. I thought it could have been better, but I'm really reluctant to talk bad about it, knowing that, you know, the guy, when he was making it, his father was literally dying to cancer. So, like, I'm... Like, under those circumstances, it was like... It's the same thing with, like, Zack Snyder with, like, the Justice League cut that happened, that we got. I was like, you know, he, he literally lost his daughter to suicide. Like, it's... it's it's really hard to critique it, like, overly much. It's like, you wish the conditions were better. Well, I don't like Zack Snyder's movies to begin with. I don't think he's a good director. Hey, 300 was a... 300 was a I think 300's LGBT. the exception to the rule. It's a great LBGT plus movie. That movie is gay as heck. You cannot convince me otherwise. Oh, it definitely is. Yes, that but, is like... Perfect. I, it's not okay. Let me rephrase. His movies are, um, overhyped. Like the people that like them, don't fucking shut up about them. Like the amount of people that tried telling me that Sucker Punch was the greatest movie ever made, and it was <laughs> fucking below average stoner trash. I will say this. Oh, it's so complex, and you don't know which reality's the real one. It's like, um, the orderly is raping her. That's the real one. <laughs> okay, I, I, I will say this. If Sucker Punch is just, like, just on the screen, and you have time to kill, then I think I'd go ahead and watch I would turn the it. screen off. If suck, it, like, listen, like, that, that's what I would say. I don't love Sucker Punch. I don't. I. I think it's kind of a subpar movie, if I'm being honest. But I will say I enjoyed. I found I, where all the boars live. <laughs> yeah, by the water, down down by the lake. Nowhere fucking near where I, where I live. But yeah, hopefully so, I don't get fucked up by all these boars. I will say this. I enjoyed Man of Steel. It might be because I am a huge Superman fan. You know, Superman is my favorite superhero. Uh, but I enjoyed Man of Steel. I love Henry Cavill. I think he's a perfect Superman. I didn't hate Man of Steel. I'm confused by snapping Zod's neck. Um, just in general. <laughs> like, I don't care about the, um, moral implications of, of any of it. 
This is more of like, of everything you can do and he can do, you're just gonna snap his neck. I will say this. First of all, say, as I will say, Henry Cavill, hashtag forever my Superman, as, as it is. Known. Uh, forever my Geralt. And we're gonna turn around, because we're not supposed to go into that spot, found the forest. Found where the ham lives, I'm not supposed to go in there. <laughs> Look, as soon as you said that, a fucking beast is like, you looking for my ham, bitch? Like, it just swooped down. Oh no, the, the, the bird is the one telling me don't go fucking go in there. He knows, he's my guide. He's like, you're not ready for this ham yet. Yeah, he's like, you need to beat the first boss before you go in here. They will fuck you up. And he's not wrong. You will get your shit rocked. Like, because how, um, how the enemies spawn in this game is based on the sound that you make in that area. So, as, like, you're in the bear chopping down trees or mining ore, you're, that sound echoes in the forest. So all these trolls spawn around you and all this shit. That poor came out of fucking nowhere to fuck me up. Come back. And, um, so yeah, as you literally just, the, um, the difficulty scale after the first boss to the second is fucking massive. So you're gonna have to do a fuck ton of crafting and resource gathering in the forest specifically. And then so trolls just spawn on you, and fucking skeletons, and you're swarmed very quickly. So grinding. Not, not even just that, it's just going in there solo, it's just a bitch. I can imagine. It, it's why I, I really did lean into the, um, the building aspect of this more, because I had one friend who owned it that would play... And very rarely could we play together because of our opposite schedules. So. Ooh. But yes, I will say, I, I feel like, and it's weird because people ask me because, again, I am like, a real, like I, I said it, like, Superman is my favorite hero. Uh, I thought it was Spider-Man, yeah. honestly. Uh, Superman is, uh, he is my absolute favorite, mostly because, you know, he is... You know the sort of ideal of the superhero. He's yeah. someone who, he's someone who has the powers of a god. Like, uh, have you heard or read about the Doomsday Clock? Yeah, actually, uh, I think I own it. And you haven't read it. If I remember we talked about this. You haven't read it yet. Yeah, no, I think I've read like the first issue, but I do own them. Yeah, it, it, it's a lot of people. Some people didn't like it. I really enjoyed it. Uh, but basically, you know, you have Doctor Manhattan, someone who was born. A man became a god, and for all intents and purposes, discarded his his humanity and embraced his godhood. He yeah. distanced himself from humanity. And on the other end, you have Kal El, someone born a god, and who's embraced his humanity. They're really dual opposites in yeah. their approach. So that's why I've always sort of really enjoyed, you know, Superman because he is that. He's someone who he wants to be human. He doesn't want to reign over people. He literally just wants to help people i mean I also he is he has all the best ideals but at the same time you he's never he can never be the underdog and he never can and i think that's where some people get confused about superman like yeah you know, this idea, they serve the ideas like oh man you know superman this like he's too overpowered it's like the point isn't that he's overpowered it's that it's a he's embracing the ideals you know of truth justice um, I mean, I think that's a problem in the superhero, um, community, like, casual community of, superheroes shouldn't really be underdogs. Like, very few are underdogs, but yet, everyone expects like, them all to be. Like, everyone expects honestly, them to always yeah. still struggle and hit a wall. It's like, really? No. Honestly, as someone who is kind of like a diehard comic book fan... The reason Spider-Man is lower on my list is because Marvel is insistent on making sure Peter Parker's life is always fucked up. Yeah. Like, Spider-Man can never be happy. Ever. Like, uh, the one good... We had a side story. It was really good. Have you ever read uh, uh, The Spider-Man Family? No. 
So basically, uh, it was a side story where Peter Parker and Mary Jane had a kid, and they were just like a fucking fan. Like, it's amazing. It's like, this is the happy ending that Spider-Man Phantom always wanted for Peter Parker. But every time something happens, like, oh my god, uh, I've told you about Sin's sin past, right? The magical abortion? I, I just spaced for a minute on that. Um... Okay, so basically one time... Can't use... Right? The, you can't say that and expect me not to space out. <laughs> okay, so basically during Civil War, the Marvel events, the first one, not the second one, uh, basically Peter Parker revealed his identity to the world. Uh, his identity was found. Uh, what happened is Kingpin hired someone to shoot him, but that doesn't work because, you know, he's, he's Spider-Man. He has a spider sense. Yeah. So he dodges out of the way. And then it hits Aunt May. And Jesus. So we actually get Back in Black, which is actually one of my. It's a. It's just. It was only a four issue series, but it was one of my favorite sort of like tied in sort of Marvel, you know, you you Spider Man stories. Fifteen and twenty. Jesus fuck! I don't have twenty of these. So Spider Man goes into Rikers Island, where you know Kingpin's awaiting. King, you know, he's making this whole fucking I'm, I'm the kingpin, Vincent D'Onofrio This and a third mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, Spider-Man says You know, this symbol means something I'm not gonna beat you as Spider-Man And then, like, he just takes his shirt off And the art did a really good job, because Spider-Man's fucking ripped People forget about that Spider-Man's fucking ripped <laughs> So, uh, he's like, I'm gonna beat you Peter Parker's gonna beat you And then he just fucking, like, decimates the <laughs> kingpin like, there's literally, like, just two pages where he picks them up and he just slaps them, like, bitch slaps them back and forth. And you could see all of the criminals there are legit terrified. Like, they're saying, you know, he, he's not making any jokes. Like, he's, like, legitimately, like, just trying to hurt the... He's legitimately hurting the kingpin. Like, they are... for the. And the thing about it is that the criminals in, in Marvel, they tend to... Not, they tend to like Spider-Man because the idea is... You know, he's not going to, you know, he's going to web you up, but he's not going to say, yeah. like, he's going to say a few jokes. Like, they even said, hey, laugh at his jokes, he'll, like, punch you easier. But, yeah, so he's legitimately, like, out to kill the kingpin. And he, he mocks him, too. Like, he's beating him physically and mentally. Like, he mocks him. He, he tells the kingpin, he's like, I fight gods on a regular basis. Who, who, you're just a man. Did you really think? And he then says the ways, like, he would kill him. He says what he would do is he would force the kingpin's mouth open and then just shoot his webs into his mouth. Then the webs would solidify in his lungs as he'll die gasping for breath because the only Jesus. way he could Yeah, because the only way he could survive is through a lung transplant. Remember, this dude just shot his Aunt May, so Yeah. And and so he and he tells him he's like, As soon as my Aunt May dies, I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna say because that's how your lungs are gonna be. What and Kingpin is forced to walk away, and again, all the prisoners are fucking terrified. This is the best because this yeah, was this this is the one soup that like takes it easy on. Them. Yeah, and this was also before the idea of what if this superhero went bad? Like, what if they broke? Know what I mean? Yeah. Like, before the idea of Breaking Bad as a superhero was kind of like overplayed, this was like, oh my god, this this is what would happen because. We, you know, because Peter is Peter, we tend to forget how powerful Spider-Man is. He was like, oh my well, god. Well, I mean, that's, it. going back to Superman, that's essentially what the Injustice, beginning of the Injustice run is, is Superman finally just being like, you know what, uh, no, no more holding back. The Joker doesn't, de doesn't deserve that, and just actually going all out. Yeah, or, uh, in the... Justice League cartoon where like he fought Darkseid and like he has that giant speech he's like I live my entire life surrounded by cardboard afraid, afraid I'm gonna break someone or something and he's like now I can like he can like he says he's, he has a, someone he can go all out against yeah yeah so basically yeah so that was a really good run because you know it kind of shows like oh yeah you know if someone else had the powers of Spider-Man like he'd like be it'd be a villain in any other yeah, it, it'd be a terrible thing. It's why uh, Spider-Man works, though, is because it's a kid. Or someone who starts young and actually has... Like, he has struggled, so he has a sense of empathy that a lot of superheroes don't have. 
Yeah, like, uh, like Batman doesn't feel bad for the fucking criminals on the streets of Gotham at all. Spider-Man feels bad for the criminals in Manhattan in Queens. Oh yeah, he does. Like, uh, and it was one of my favorite sort of comedy comics. It was called The Superior Foes of Spider-Man. And it dealt with kind of like the C-rank villains of Spider-Man as they go about their lives trying to make plots. So we're talking about like Boomerang and the Shocker, Hydro Man. You know, like the C-list villains. And, uh... I mean, we say C-list. Shocker got to be in a fucking movie. He did, but he's like, come on, like... It's fucking stupid. Times, Such a stupid times, fucking villain. How many times has Batman, has, I mean, Spider-Man just beat up Shocker like it's nothing? Yeah, so anyway, basically, I think I got uh, it. So that was the whole entire series was uh, just dumb and it's hilarious because like Boomerang's thing is that like he has like super good aim. So it's like, okay, so you're like bullseye, but that is good. <laughs> and it's funny because he's like, yeah, like, he really hates bullseye. Like he's even on social media, like always shit talking bullseye. Like the superior foes of Spider-Man is just like, what do Spider-Man's villains do when, when they're, they're not fighting Spider-Man? Yeah. Yeah. One of, one of the best things is uh, a bunch of the other villains that were talking about, okay, what happens if you run into, like, certain people? It was like, okay, if you run into Spider-Man, you know, you're going to be okay. Pretend to laugh at his jokes. They usually suck, but, you know, he'll just web you up, move on. And, uh, you know, there was like, if you meet the Punisher, pray to God, basically. Yeah. <laughs> right, he's going to shoot you a whole bunch. It's going to hurt. You're yeah. dead. If you get caught by Captain America... He's like, it's like, you're, it's like you got caught doing something bad by your grandpa. He's, he's going to lecture you. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, so that was back in black, you know, where it shows like him, you know, really going into it. And then basically because, and I am not kidding you, the reason why this happened was because the guy who was in charge of Marvel Comics at the time, he did not like the Peter Parker, Mary Jane ship. Oh, he, he was tired of the whole... He just, no, he just didn't like it. Like, lovey-dovey shit, or... No, because at this point, they were actually together. They were together, you know, they were living to... They, they, they were married. They, like, they, in this point, in this part of the comics, like, they were married... They, they, they were married for a while. Uh, they were gonna have a... They were gonna have a kid, but, you know, Spider-Man can never be happy, so... You know, they, lo they lost the baby, because, you know, Spider-Man can never yeah. be happy. But, yeah. So, basically... What uh, ended up occurring is Mephisto is like, who is it? I, I explained this to people. So Mephisto was basically the devil, and he was like, oh yeah, I'll make it so everyone forgets your identity, but I'm gonna like warp reality so that you two are never married. And all throughout this entire adventure, like there's like this little girl, and then you find out, oh, it's a kid they would have had. So yeah, basically they, there's there's a magical abortion that takes place essentially. Weird. Yeah, and what happens is after, you know, Peter Parker is successful, he has his wife, after the reality of warping, guess what? He's now a college dropout who's living on his Aunt May's couch and was left at the altar. I was like, oh, Jesus Christ. Marvel, why? Look, we get a happy Spider-Man, and it's fake. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it was like, oh, man, you know, this, this is tough for Spidey, but, you know, things... You know what that comes like, across, though, more as is just... Writers who don't understand how to write conflict that isn't just a, a constant struggle. Like, it, it's poor like, conflict. Like I said, it, what happened was basically the writer didn't... The person in charge of, you know, Marvel Comics was like, I don't like this ship, let's change it. I'm here for that. Sucks, no, but... Not, we, we got a year of terrible Spider-Man comics. Like, this is a... Okay, so right. one time... So you know how Aunt May is constantly dying in the comics? Yeah. So one time, like, she had actually died, kind of. And it was actually sort of the best way that she could, like, really pass on. You know, uh, Mary Jane and Peter, they're together. And, you know, Mary Jane's like, Peter, I, you know, you know, I don't think, you know, your aunt, she's you know, not feeling well. You know, maybe we should, like, spend as many days with her as we can, you know, Boy, before. Okay. And so he takes her to the top of the Empire State Building. And she reveals that she knows he's Spider-Man. And as she's laying on, you know, her deathbed, you know, Peter told her what happened with Uncle Ben. And she tells him, he's like, 
don't even think about that. It's like, I know your uncle would be proud of you and all you've done. I know I'm proud of you. And it's like, I'm gonna, he's like, and I'm gonna see him again. And I'm gonna tell him, like, all, like, basically, you know, she, it's a very yeah. beautiful passage. And, but then we find out the Green Goblin, <laughs> so you know, it's never good, had actually, uh, a year or so earlier, had kidnapped Aunt May and replaced her with an actress. But the thing is, the actress got so absorbed in the role, she thought she was Aunt May, she thought she was an 80 year old woman, and she was so good, she actually that, ended up. That makes dying. no fucking sense. <laughs> so she was so good at impersonating someone else, she got. She gave. She made herself sick. Like. You could just say, like, she was fucking hypnotized. She had, she was also dying of the same thing. Like, <laughs> just to go with, nope, she's such a good actress that she convinced herself. She convinced herself she was actually, she got, so, she got absorbed in the role. It's like, Jesus, fuck. Speaking of, like I said, that's the reason like Spider-Man would be higher, but Marvel is for some reason intense on making sure Spider-Man is some of like, the worst shit that happens. So this was retconned, thankfully, very recently. But for a large part of the continuity, what happened was, no, I think I, I, I showed about my video, where uh, for some reason, Gwen Stacy was like, I'm gonna bang Norman Osborn, I'm gonna bang the fucking Green Goblin and get pregnant by him. Mood. Uh, so basically, they recently retconned that. What happened was more hypnotism, but you know what? I'll buy it just to get rid of that. Uh, but yeah, basically, that's the Harry Osborn that has been in Marvel Comics for like the past, I don't know, fucking 30 or so years. Uh, he's actually a clone, and the person who was fighting uh, as the, like, I think it was Forgiven or something was the actual Harry Osborn who was like in hell or whatever. And yeah, he had like hypnotized his father into thinking he had sex with Mary, with uh, Gwen Stacy and that Gwen Stacy had his kids. But you know, you know what I love about the nonsense that is comics? What? It's, it might be something you think's fucking stupid, but somewhere out there is somebody who thinks that is the greatest bit of writing in humanity's history. No, no, I, I think that's great if someone could, like... Because here's the thing, because basically it's pretty clear that that was just to get rid of, like, the old bad story. So it's like, you know what? His dead son from hell hypnotized him into thinking this 15-year-old wanted to bang him. I was like, you know what? I will buy that. <laughs> Comics are fucking weird, man. They are weird. When they're good, they can be really good. Like, uh, for instance, Thor right now is is fighting the literal embodiments of Mjolnir. Uh, so what happened is that uh, Jane Foster, when she was beating the Mangog, uh, you know, she like tossed him into the sun. And did they eventually when... give her non-D list fucking villains to go up against? She beat the Mangog. Thing that kills gods. All right, so yeah, they eventually gave her real villains. Good. No, so here's the thing that Jane Foster suffered from, and that is the fact that Marvel cannot have an event without tossing literally everyone and their moms into the event. So it, it was like literally you'd get. I can't a believe few I got that fucking shot. So you'd get a few chapters of like you know Jane Thor as you know uh thor i mean jane foster as thor but then it's like oh jane foster's in this event and then after two more uh, issues oh now jane foster's in this event because again Mar for the past for a while marvel's idea of an event is let's just throw every superhero ever into this event yeah. which i i disagree with i mean i used to like back in the days like you could be reading a spot like it happens sometimes like spider-man somehow in an x-men event okay it happens but Spider-Man wasn't in every X-Men event. Spider-Man wasn't yeah. in every Avengers event. Like, you know, it happened once in a while, but it wasn't always. Yeah, not, and, not now. 
Yeah, now it's just let's literally invite everyone in. Their, in their now place. every crossover has to be an event. Yeah, and again, it's they seem to be go like kind of changing ship on that. You know, mm. with the X with the X Men kind of segregating themselves to their own little island, Krakoa. So I'm fine with that. Let's. I think they they might be finally doing that in comics, but in movies they're doing the opposite because they know. You know. How much more money can we get? Yeah, which is why... So, I recently saw Shang-Chi. I have not seen, seen that yet. So, I'm not going to spoil anything. Uh, one of my friends, she loved it. She thought it was her, fa like it was her favorite Marvel movie. Uh, you know, she knows how I kind of like talk about films. And I said, I enjoyed Shang-Chi. The things about it, though, that the weakest parts of Shang-Chi were the parts where it was clearly a Marvel Disney movie. Yeah. Those those were the weakest parts of the movie. The only way I could get back into Marvel movies um, post-in-game is essentially forcing myself to shut my brain off and just watch the pretty colors. Because, like, I did not care for uh, Far From Home, the second Tom Holland Spider-Man movie. I, I did not enjoy it. I thought it was better than the first one. I I disagree. Although I think the first one is only as highly done because it is returning Spider-Man to a Marvel universe finally. I think it's well done where I hated Mysterio, Mysterio and all of that. And it, it was just an Iron Man movie. Well, that, that was my problem with Spider-Man 1, the first one, was that it was too much of a focus on Iron Man. It was, Spider it was Iron Man Jr. Yeah. Wow. Heaven, heaven forbid we let Spider-Man just be Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah. Even though, let's be honest, Spider-Man would fucking wash Iron Man. Like, what a... Like, Spider-Man would wash Iron Man, let's be real. Yeah. Like, but again, part of that's also the fact that Marvel, at least... Not even just... He, cinematic Spider-Man... They are still stuck at keeping him high school and early college age instead of letting him actually grow. Like, I, I told my uh, parents, is like, you want some new Spider Man? It's like, man, I keep getting older. This dude keeps getting younger. I don't know yeah. what's happening. <laughs> and, like, don't get me wrong. I was thrilled that they cast a young, uh, an actual young actor to be Peter Parker. I think Tom Holland's an amazing choice. I'm very glad it wasn't Tom Holland, Spider-Man, freshman year of high school. Like, nope. Uh, apparently, there, there's going to be an animated series about that. Uh, my one issue is that... Uh, we don't need it. Obviously, you know, they kind of took Miles' friend and they gave it to Spider-Man. I was like, that feels wrong. <laughs> like, you just, you literally took Miles' friend. It's like, okay, he's Peter Parker's friend now. I was like... Was that was that necessary? Uh, well, thankfully, with all the multiverse shit, they can they can retcon everything and anything at this point now. Yeah. So yeah. So that's why I enjoyed part two more because again, I I didn't enjoy the parts about Iron Man. Like I was like, I want to see a Spider Man movie. See, part two part just felt like an Iron Man, like full Iron Man movie. The yeah, villain like, felt like an Iron Man villain because he I was mean, motivated by Iron Man. I mean, I it was think... super tech heavy. Where the first one still felt like Spider-Man exploring some well, more spider shit. Well, Mysterio is, you know, technical heavy, you know, Hollywood stuntman and all that stuff. Uh, I felt like him being like a former employee kind of worked better uh, with it. Uh, but like I said, the parts where like Spider-Man was actually like being himself, like using his powers, like using his spider sense yeah. to like, go past Mysterio's offenses. Those parts are liked when it was like Spider-Man. You failed that one guy who was kind of yeah. like your uncle, but wasn't really. I was like, for some reason, they just want to pretend Uncle Ben never existed. Yeah. It's it's weird. Like, I mean, the actress that plays Aunt May wanted Aunt May to be gay in this one. So, I, Uncle Ben might not have existed in this universe. No, but then there was, a, there was an Aunt Ben. I show Aunt Ben dying. Yeah. Honestly, don't show any of them dying. We don't need... But at least show that there was an impact on it. Like, it just, it's, it's weird in, I think, the first one 
where like he tells someone, "Hey, lay on, uh, lay off Aunt May. She had a really rough year." I'm like, "Bro, you've had a really rough year." Yeah. Like, like it, it, it kind of plays it off like it, it meant nothing to him. And, well, and I think I, more that's I, honestly, I can relate to that. That's a trauma response. That's him going, "No, I'm okay." Aunt May needs needs to be focused on. Yeah, but we never really go more into that trauma. No, so that's... but at the same time, we don't. We know what happened. We don't need it again. Like okay, we we can know what happened. You know, Uncle you ben could. And, uh, they absolutely see. like. Where was a picture of a, uh, an Uncle Ben anywhere on on the man in the house, kind of yeah, thing? Exactly. Where's, where's like a a spare wedding ring. But you know. Like none, none of that. Like for instance, yeah. Lego Batman doesn't show Bat. You know, they, it actually did it the best. They don't show that what happened to Lego Mark. You know, Martha and you know Lego uh, Batman's parents. But we, you know, we see it, it's acknowledged that yeah. you know he's. So Lego Batman probably did it the best. It's like, hey, there's a way to talk about you know these. Not fucking arrows. God damn it. It's like there, there's a way to you know bring it up without it being you know a, ma a major yeah. point of contention. So, yeah, but they, instead they just get like little like teasers, like you know, oh he's carrying a suitcase that says Benjamin on it. Yeah, well that's also like my problem with, um, like I watching fuck what was it? Yeah, we watched I watched the Spider new Spider Man in the theater. And me and my buddy are talking about how, like, there's no reason to sit there for the fucking end credits for 15 minutes to hear some character go, hey, it's me, umpty fuck. It's Gorko. Yeah, and then that's it. And it's like, I could look that up at home, or it doesn't fucking matter because they've already announced the movie coming up. That's how I felt when... Uh, and yet my friend was still like, we're going to sit and watch the credits, right? <laughs> Motherfucker, I don't want to sit here for 15 minutes. I got to take a piss. I just sat through three hours of Spider-Man. I need to take a piss. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. That's awesome. Like, like, when, like, I when, I go with, like when I go with my nephews, it, it depends. Like, when we went to see like, Jurassic World, the second one, I thought it was kind of a shitty... They enjoyed it. So, like, they made the movie better, honestly. Because by itself, I feel like it's kind of a subpar movie, the second uh, Jurassic World. I did not see any of the new Jurassic Park. I saw the first Jurassic Park movie and thought it was fucking abysmal. What? The first one was, you know, the Steven Spielberg? Da, da, da. No, I mean, like, the one with Chris Pratt. Oh, Jurassic World. Yes, yeah, so, okay, you're, okay, you're talking the original trilogy yeah, you, no, you, said, you said jurassic park and i was like what you did like the oh first sorry jurassic park? look they're all jurassic park to me like all of them are jurassic park but the first one's really good but of the of the new ones i would say Jura the first of the new ones was uh especially the idea of like you know kind of like you know the first one they spent so long thinking they should should do it, no, it, it, it fell on the same problem that every one of these remake sequel reboot things do let's use all the good things from the first one again and just hit the nostalgia buttons Can and then the sense? best scenes are just repeats of the other movies best scenes I would say except this one the, the first of the new ones it was kind of like the fucking it's not, every it's not. ability of the dinosaur they made which I, I am here for that I am that part I enjoyed. The premise of designer sponsored dinosaur I'm here for. Yeah, cuz like so that's the, that's the thing. Like it's kind of ironic because it seems to be an anti like, you know, overzealous capitalist message made by a overzealous capitalist movie company. Yeah. company. But it's like it's, it's it's like super it's like what? But my problem yeah. with it was every ability is a gimmick. For that one scene, and then it moves on. Yeah. Every, everything. Like, oh, it can turn invisible. How often will it do that? Once. Once. <laughs> hey, it can mimic this sound. How often will it do it? Once. Why the fuck is she running away in heels? I don't know. <laughs> 
You find me anyone who can run in heels. Full stop. Just. Like, and those those weren't like wedge heels or anything. Those were proper fucking heels. Okay, heels were originally invented by warriors, so I'm pretty sure thousands of years ago, like it was doable. Like there there was people who could run. Yeah, heels. and they were not built like us. <laughs> they were built different. Yeah. They were built for tough. Yeah. So I, I ended up seeing the second movie, and, and again, uh, I kind of use my nephew's excuse basically. I was working at Spectrum, and there was like, oh, we're gonna yeah, have like classics. a company, like, yeah. So there was like, oh, we're gonna have like a company softball game or whatever. And uh, there was like, oh, can you make it? Can you make it? I was like, what? I was like, well, I don't really have a ride, and also I already promised my nephew I'd take him to the movies. And so like, I, I was, I was already gonna take him to movies, but like, I used him as an excuse. Yeah, and absolutely. It's the whole point of being an uncle. Yeah. And I use my nephew yeah. as an excuse, and he lives a hundred miles north of me. Uh, Can't wait till my nephew's at that age where he wants to go see movies. And uh, thankfully, they're all like pretty well behaved, honestly. Like, uh, so you know, that, that's a good thing because I told my parents, like, yo, if they 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 kind of like funky, like I'm not, I'm not gonna take them. I'm not gonna be embarrassed. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, and uh, like even my manager, he was like, yeah, dude, it's just an excuse for a bunch of us to get drunk. Like, yeah, go hang out with your nephew. Yeah. Like, yeah, he wants to see dinosaurs. Let him see dinosaurs. Uh, so. And yeah, basically what ended up happening was a bunch of people ended up getting drunk, and someone ended up getting fired for uh, going back to the office and having sex in front of the cameras. That happened. Yeah. That's why you don't go to office parties to drink. No, the, it, no, the thing was, it wasn't an office party. It was an office softball game. No, 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 no. Office. Same thing. Same thing. <laughs> no, but this is the crazy thing. It was away from the office. So this girl ends up going to... Well, yeah, because they're already drunk going, you know, it would be pretty fucking funny or pretty fucking hot. Let's go, you know, let's fuck on the boss's decks. No, yeah. but it wasn't, it, they didn't even do it on the boss's desk. So it's like, why'd you even get fired for it? Like, if you didn't even get to do it on the boss's desk. So basically, oh, after I need to make the game I need wood. Fuck. So after the game was, after the game was over, what happened was... Uh, one of the girls it would went, hurt. Up to, went up to Memo and said oh and they were already kind of seeing each other before this happened and I was like oh I left some stuff at the office can you open it up for me and he's like yeah sure so they go to the office and the thing about it is that your first week working there you already know where the cameras are and where the cameras aren't so they instead decided to have adult relations right in front of, like, the help desk and then go to the break room with the camera and not the break room without the camera and then also in, like, the meeting Not the smartest like, people. Yeah, not the, they, they literally could have just, like, gone to the bathroom or gone to the break room without the camera. No one would have been none the wiser. Or not gone to work. Uh, they could have done it in their cars. They could have got a hotel room. As, especially because uh, the person, the manager, Memo, uh, was married and had only recently had a child. His child was so new that I didn't see that dude for two, like three weeks because he was on matern he was on paternity leave. Jesus. Yeah. So, and he was also kind of a shitty dude. Honestly, like he never like showed it to me. I guess because. I don't seem like a person who shows interest in that, but like to some of the guys, like to prove like how fucking cool he was, like he'd be like, "Hey, look, this, this girl sent me like you know, tit pics or whatever." Like it'll just like show a bunch of like the other like dudes like there, and it's funny because like most of the dudes were like, "Yeah, man, that's that's really cool." Like like they kind of like know something, know what I mean? It's like yeah, that's really cool, I guess. I go on the internet for that. Like that, that, that's that. I would say that's, that's a really scummy thing to do for someone to send you like pics and then like you to show other people, like to kind of show how cool. Like I, I feel like that's pretty scummy. Yeah, you're not supposed to share this. Yeah. Without permission. Yeah, and uh, he 
would do that, and like it's it's and it's crazy because like some girls will like keep sending it to him, and it's like for, you know he shares this, right? Like it wasn't that like well hidden of a secret, and you know you, like it's like yeah, no, fuck. It's like it's like don't don't send it. He, he's shown to not be trustworthy. Like uh, so basically, what happened uh, is uh, he ended up getting fired. Because she was a subordinate, so you know that's yep. something you can't really be doing. Uh, but also, uh, because like she actually didn't have to work. Apparently, her parents were like super rich. She only did it because like she was only working because she was bored. She was also a very mean person. I will get back to that. Uh, so uh, they just kept her on until she got bored and quit. But yeah, so she was a super mean person. So she's one of those people who has a name. That can be said different ways, you know what I mean? Like, her full name was something like Magdalena or something like that. But, like, when she introduced herself to me, she was like, Oh, yeah, you can call me Maggie, this, that, and the third. Yeah. I was like, Oh, okay. And then one day I'm like, Hey, Maggie, can you pass that? And, like, she just, like, gets, like, attitude with me. It's like, First of all, my name's not Maggie. It's like this. And I was like, You literally introduced yourself. As th that, like, like when I tell people, oh yeah, my name's German. You can call me Herman. Like, if someone said, if someone like said my name in Spanish, if I was like, excuse me, what did you call me? Like, <laughs> How dare you? Yeah, like she was just, she was just, she was just a very, very mean person. Uh, one time you make she leather a cat shit now. Fuck yeah. Uh, one time she brought a cat to the office, and she didn't want anyone else to see it. And people were like, Maggie, stop being stupid. You brought a cat to the office, like. You can't bring a cat to the office and be like, no, no one can see my cat. Like, if you bring animals to the office, they're open for everyone. <laughs> really, the lesson is you're not supposed to fucking bring a pet to the office. <laughs> but. It, it was Saturday. Saturdays kind of went wild on the spectrum. Like, nope. yeah, I don't have enough to make a tanning rack. Because basically on Saturday, no one's picking up their phone to try to, like, get, like, change their internets or, like, cable provider. No. It was just... Yeah, so Saturdays were just, like, go wild. Who cares? I forget that you used to work in a fucking office. Yeah. Environment. Like, fucking stupid. Yeah, so, yeah, she was just... So, back on track. Because <laughs> we just took, like, a few turns. Uh, I ended up taking him to see Jurassic World. And yeah, he was like extremely well behaved. Uh, you know, if he wanted, because uh, if I'm going to the movies and I'm taking someone, you know, I am a member of whatever. Lo if it's Carmike, I'm gonna be a Carmike member. If it's AMC, yeah. I'm gonna be an AMC member. Uh, so I was a member of you know the AMC whatever club. You know, I I, I paid for that, so like I I get the big bucket of popcorn. Like if uh. If we do get to visit you, like, uh, this summer, hopefully, and we go to the movies, like, I am getting a big bucket of popcorn, I am getting, like, I am, like, that is where I kind of do splurge when I go to the movies, because I do enjoy going to the movies, and, uh, you know, he was very well behaved, you know, he would, like, just nudge, right. like, hey, can you pass popcorn, you know, can you pass drink, uh, he wasn't super loud, like, I'm gonna close out of this real quick.